Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are continuing our 100 baby challenge. <sighs> I'm pre-filming all my videos because right now, currently when you're watching this video, I am going to be home visiting my family for Thanksgiving and I am probably having the best time of my life right now. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, I do have another channel. So if you are interested in like more about me and my personal life and like vlogs and lifestyle things i do have another channel it's right here i will also link it down below i just uploaded a video to that channel it's the first video i've uploaded in a while actually it's a what i eat in a day and i show you guys how to make my coffee over there because a lot of you guys on my instagram ask me how to and i show you in that video so if you guys are um interested in more me stuff and not so much sim stuff Go check out that channel, subscribe if you like, that would make me so happy. And if you don't give a crap about me and you just wanna watch some Sims, let's get into this episode. <laughs> okay guys, here we are back in the 100 baby household. Our house is so depressing, I hate it. I hate it so much, I really wanna redo it again. Um, so let me give you a recap of what's going on. Lily, Oh my god, you guys are right. It does look like she has a butt on the front. <gasps> oh my. Absolute unit, am I right? Anyway, she's pregnant uh, with her... Prob I think 20 27th? Is it 27th, baby? No, 20... I don't remember. 20-something, baby. <laughs> uh, and yeah, she has like, we have been like getting her pregnant. She has one, no days left in her life, but we keep getting her pregnant over and over and over, just squeezing those last babies out. We have Parker here, the little spawn of Satan. Um, we are trying to get him to move out. He's a B student. He should be getting an A quite soon. And is he responsible? Not quite. Ooh, look at those manners. Ooh, that doesn't really surprise me because like I said, he is the devil's son. <laughs> and then we have uh, Brooke. Yeah, Brooke. Brooke was Lacey's sister, I think. And we were able to move Lacey out. Hold up. Let me just... Yeah, Lacey, this is her sister. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Her twin sister. And look, they're like different ages. Cool, right? <laughs> Let's just pretend like they're not twins. And then we got Hazel. Hmm. I'm confused. I forget who is their twin. I wish it would tell you in the relationships, like, which one is the twin and which one is the sister. I think it might have been Piper and Brooke. Piper and Brooke and Lacey and Hazel. But I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. I guess we could check out the family tree to find out, right? Let's see here. Um... Oh, Hazel was a single baby? No. Oh my god, she was a single baby. Yeah, that's Santa's baby. Okay. And then Brooke... Brooke and Lacey. Okay. And then... Piper... Piper and Parker, that's right! Oh man, okay, okay, okay. I remember now. And then we have the two fresh babies, Daisy and Dexter. They were twins. Uh, this is, these are um, that one Spellcaster's kids. Uh, what's his name again? The heck is that guy's name? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Daryl. Yeah, these are Daryl's kids. So Daryl's kind of funky looking. So if Daisy is going to be the next matriarch, I'm a little concerned. So I'm, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that this baby that Lily is pregnant with right now is going to be a girl. We have a few spots left in the household, so she might have twins again. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I got bunk beds. So I'm going to go ahead and test them out right now. I'm going to put some of these in the inventory because we don't need them right now. We only have Parker and Lily and this one, um, Brooke who need big boy beds, so that, that takes care of that. And then we'll test out these bunk beds for the babies that are about to age up. Oh, look at this one, how cute is that? It's extremely alpha though. Hmm, I don't know if I, I'm down for that. There's this one, which isn't bad. We'll just 
pop it right there, and then it, they, blah, blah, blah. and then it needs mattresses. Uh, where are the mattresses at? There we go. Okay, well, hopefully this works. Um, we'll give it a try once the toddlers age up. Okay, yeah, and everything is broken and smelly as usual. Welcome back to 100 Baby, guys! Welcome back to Chaos! Welcome back to Filth! Come and repair this. Repair it. Clean it. Do what you gotta do. Ew, the shower needs to be cleaned as well. Come on! He was trying to be a good boy and clean and repair. I'm so annoyed because, okay, I'm technically on break right now, Thanksgiving break, but my school, for some reason, is making us come to class on Monday, and then we have the rest of the week off. What is the point of that, honestly? Oh no. This bean right here, Brooke, she's gonna be a very good mom. Every time the babies cry, she's here. She's here in like a second, trying to calm them down, trying to make them happy. It's kind of annoying because she's like in the way when I try to do super efficient baby care. And then it like goes away because you already did it once. <laughs> but yeah, she's she's a good bean. She's going to be a good person when she uh, ages up. So what does she need to do for her schooling? Get one skill to level four and do her homework. She did all that already. What about you? You're good. Um, maybe we should get you a school project so that your A is guaranteed next time you go to school. There we go. Okay, come out here and start working carefully. All right, and you, my darling, maybe we should get you a school project as well. I mean, we might as well, right? Doesn't hurt. Project Medieval Castle. Um, let's do... I love the solar system one, so I'm gonna get her that one. Start working carefully, okay? And then you, how are your skills? Ooh, look at that. You just need a uh, potty and thinking. Okay, uh, come and go potty. And then, do we have food? Do we have food? Nope, just some half-eaten eggs and toast and an empty plate. Great. Lily, why don't you cook them some roasted tofu chicken? Por que no? Ah, that's why. Family size. Go ahead. I really don't like this sweater on her while she's pregnant. That's a mood. That's gonna be me in a few days cooking up some Thanksgiving dinners. Let's give her that makeover now. She really needs one, like really bad. So when we first started, she, you know, she was all about like dresses. She's a very traditional type of person. She doesn't think that women should wear pants. That is the worst clipping I have ever seen in my life. Um, perhaps, where did your skin detail go? Do you have one? Oh my god, I took it off. Let's, uh, let's put that back. There you go, now you're looking more like yourself. But you are quite, you're not an elder yet, but you are quite old. She's still super, super pretty. Maybe we should give her a haircut. She hasn't had a new hair in, oh my gosh, I don't even know how long. <gasps> this is cute! Aww. Aww. I love this hair on her. I just downloaded it and it's very adorable. I actually really like this and it would look super cute with a headband. Let's see here. Okay, this one looks fine because it's almost the same color as her hair. So it kind of like goes a little bit. Okay, this sweater dress is a huge no. Let's just um, randomize until we find something that looks good on her pregnant body. <laughs> um... This doesn't look too bad. I mean, wow. That is like, oh my, those gotta be triplets. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind that those are triplets. It's kind of what she was wearing before, just not custom content, so it looks better with her pregnant belly, you know? Okay, <laughs> her belly is so big, it's so hard to find something that looks um, normal. Uh, but this is fine, actually. Let's see what other outfit she has. Aww. Well, isn't that just sweet? Let's put that one sweater dress on that we saw before. Oh, how about this? That's actually really cute. Everything custom content just looks funky. All right, there you go. The new and improved Lily. She looks a lot better than she did before.
Aw, look at the little heart elbow patches. That's so adorable. Parker is absolutely miserable, so I'm gonna give him one of these potions of plentiful needs. Just drink that and then head to school, okay? Go, 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 go. Go to school, please. Thank you. All right, let's give these um, bunk beds a test with little Hazel here. Come on, no passing out. Time to get up, let's go. What's this? Oh, I'm good. No time, ain't got no, ain't nobody got time for that in this series, you feel me? Oh no, it doesn't work. All right, when are birthdays? Oh shoot, okay. It's the baby's birthdays today. Let's age them up, cause I'm tired of them being babies. <laughs> um, all right, age up and age up. All right, Daisy, you are independent. Independent. I love getting that trait. Little spellcaster babies. Inquisitive, not bad, not bad at all. All right, come here, little bean. Let's check you out and create a sim. Ooh! Okay, Daisy's magic, and so is Dexter. Okay, so you guys were saying that spellcaster babies count as two. Since they are technically a cult, so I'm counting them as two, because y'all said so. <laughs> All right. What's up with your hair? I'm kind of confused about it. Huh. Well, that was strange. Okay, you do look like your dad. Like, I can see it already in your eyes. Okay, I'm confused right now. I am super confused. Okay, that's why. Every hair that we put on this child has like gray, gray uh, accents. And I was like, okay, is that because she's a spellcaster? Is that just like, a part of her hair or something but no I'm pretty sure it's whatever ear peer what is this oh got it got it got it I actually kind of like that though I like because you know how some people have they have like spots on their heads that are like white like bright white like some of their hair is bright white or they've got like a little patch of white I kind of like that would be kind of cool to have for her. And I'm really vibing the pink hair on her. It's so cute. But no toddler would have pink hair, so... It looks a little funky with the browns. So I don't know. Should we keep it? I kind of like it. It's something different. This is actually a really, really cute kid. I like her a lot. Yeah, like, look at it with this hair. It's like... A glitch <laughs> with one of the hair accessory things but it looks so cool I love it so much I think we're gonna have to use it all right there you go bean this is Daisy Potter she may or may not be the next matriarch I'm not sure one of you guys said that it's the oldest female in the family that becomes the matriarch but I'm pretty sure it's the youngest I'll have to double check on that all right let's have a look at Dexter hi cutie you're adorable. I don't really have to change that much with you. I love the little moles that you have. I love your eyes. Oh my god, this is seriously one of the cutest toddlers ever. I'm obsessed. I love them. I thought they were going to turn out really weird looking. But they're not, like, whatsoever. Look. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh, a little white streak. You can do different colors too. I know that this is not what it's supposed what this is showing, but it's supposed to be clips, but it's glitching like that. I love it so much. Oh my god, so cute. All right, this is Dexter. So cute. <laughs> it's my heart. And this is Daisy. Alrighty then, let's go ahead and sell these bassinets. We do not need them any longer. And if this top bunk doesn't work, we're going to need a different bed. Let's give it a shot. Are you eating? Okay, good. Uh, let's get you 
to try and sleep. Let's see if it works if someone else is- <laughs> okay. This isn't even, like, good. Oh my god. Alright, here's the, uh, <laughs> super alpha bunk bed. Let's give it a shot. Let's see if he can sleep on the top one. All right, it looks like you can. That's great. That is just amazing. Okay, so come on over here and start babbling to this thing. Lily, I need you to potty train. Let's get you to clean that first, actually. Clean and then potty train Daisy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Grades are up. Brooke's an A student. Um, Parker's still a B student. What the heck? Why? Ooh, that really irks me. All right, come and play some video games to make yourself feel better. You, Bean, are you responsible? Can we age you up? Not quite. Okay, you're going to have to do your homework, finish your school project, and then you should be responsible enough to get aged up. We'll see, though. Yes, who's calling? Mm, a warning should do. <laughs> Whatever. Let's sell that. How's your babbling going? Good, good, good. You are good on that. Let's uh, potty help Lily, please. Can I get some potty help, mom? Oh my god, look, he's sitting on the bunk bed. That is so hilarious. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, and look, this bean's about to go to sleep. Good night. Oh, he's just sitting with him? That's cute. Ooh! Lily is in labor! She's in labor! Can you come clean these toilets before you go have the baby? That would be awesome! Yay! Brooke's responsible! We can age her up now too! Do we have a cake in here, I wonder? Oh, we do! We do! We do! We do! We do! Okay, so she is... She's responsible. You guys see that there? She's an A student, y'all see that there. Or I guess she doesn't even need to be responsible until she ages up from a teen to an adult. <sighs> and some of you guys were saying that Piper wasn't responsible when I aged her up and she totally was. So, I don't know what you're talking about. Happy birthday! Love you, Brooke. Look at this bean eating in her bed, cute. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Okay, she's naturally smelly and a goofball. Well, isn't that just adorable? Let's randomize her aspiration. It is purveyor of potions. Okay, sure. Boom. There you go. Happy birthday. <laughs> Let's give you a little edit real quick. All right, everybody, this is Brooke. Okay, now it is time for you, my darling, to have the baby at the hospital. This is going to be whose baby? Whose baby? Oh, Max! She's having the baby. I'm scared, y'all. I'm nervous. Is it gonna be a girl? Is it gonna be a boy? Is it gonna be twins? Is it gonna be triplets? Is it gonna be a singular baby? It's a boy! Okay, okay, okay. Let me see my names, my list of names. All right, so let's do, let's do Jonas. Jonas. Oh, <laughs> oh God, okay. Um. Jonas and Okay, so we need to do another girl name or another flower name. I mean on my last video a lot of you guys commented or no on two videos ago you guys commented uh, Hilarious rip party. What the heck is that? <laughs> He's having a grand old time with Parker um, You guys commented some flower names for me. Okay, so I found the comment. This was from Karma0308. Thank you so much for all these lovely flower name suggestions. Um, the one that I like the most is Cassia. I think it's such a beautiful and kind of exotic name that'll go so well with Max kids. 
Max, M-A-C-K-S, not Max, M-A-X. Max, kids. <laughs> All right, Cassia Potter. Okay, she had twins. Let me look up the rules really quick to see if it's the oldest, oldest daughter or the youngest daughter in the household. Okay, okay. When your matriarch becomes an elder and you can no longer bear children, her youngest daughter takes over as the next matriarch. You may move out your elderly matriarch only if her youngest daughter has become a young adult. Okay, so I'm kind of nervous because uh, Mac is a vampire, so these kids might be a vampire. So yeah, it says your matriarch must be human. Um, if you choose to make your next matriarch in a cult, you forfeit this bonus until you take another human matriarch. Okay, that makes sense because if the next matriarch is a vampire, then she's going to live forever. And that is kind of cheating, isn't it? <laughs> uh, so I guess that just makes Cassia void of being the next matriarch. So it would be Daisy? Unless we can get homegirl pregnant again. Let's see. Do we know anyone? <laughs> Do we know anyone that's not our kid? I don't think we've had kids with Cliff yet. Yeah, no, he doesn't have any kids. So perhaps... I mean, we could try again with Lily. We totally could. All right, where are the children? Oh my God, they're both vampires, aren't they? <gasps> oh Lord, they're both in vampire bassinets. So yeah, shoot, this Cassia child can't be the next matriarch unless we make her human, which we would have to learn how to make the, the thing at the bar that makes, shut up, oh my God. All right, it's getting hectic. When it gets a uh, decent hour, I'm going to go ahead and invite Cliff over. We haven't had a kid with him yet. <sighs> We're going to try and get Lily pregnant one more time. It's probably not going to work, but we might as well try it, right? Come pay the bills. Come get the mail. All right, what did we get in the mail? We got more seed packets. A capsule? That's really random. Uh... Let's sell that. All right, cool. Nothing good. Nothing good. All right, you are exhausted from having that kid. So why don't you go ahead, go ahead and go to sleep. Zero days until you age up. I'm a little bit nervous. So right when it hits 7 a.m., we are going to invite over Cliff. And I'm gonna get um, Brooke. Come dream big, please. A lot of you guys were telling me you wanted um, Lily to dream big as well. And I think we'll make her do that. Oh no, she can't get pregnant anymore because our household is full. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, she has school in an hour and he's in the worst mood. Okay, I'm gonna give you another one of these potions. You need to be in a good mood for school today so that you can get an A, okay? And you did your project. Drink the potion. Are you responsible? Almost. All right, come and brush your teeth. Yay! Okay, he's responsible. He's off to school. Hopefully he gets an A today. Study hard. Um, what about you? Hmm, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, keep dreaming big, please. Come on, you can do it. Oh my god, look, she sprained her ankle from, um, failing to dunk. Shoot. <laughs> sorry, Brooke. So sorry, my love. Alright, looks like he's gonna get an A today. Oh, celebrate Lily's birthday by throwing a rocking birthday party. Um, how about we celebrate by getting her pregnant again? Hmm? Let's just invite him over. Let's get that relationship up with him. Where he at? Come on over, boy. There he is. Hello. How you doing? Let's let's hit him with a sexy pose right off the bat. Hi. Oh, look. Oh, oh, Parker got an A. Okay, 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 okay. We need a cake. We need a cake because the other one went bad. So let's cook a white cake. Come on, Lily. On delay. I actually think he's one of the Sims that can get pregnant. So we need to change that. Get others pregnant. There we go. 
There we go, a nice cake. All right, let's add birthday candles. You little, oh, oh my God, you, oh my God, I hate you so much. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. No one touched this. What the heck? Where did you put it? On the floor? Interesting. Okay, sure. Go ahead and add birthday candles, please, before someone takes a slice. Parker, come make a wish. You are... You're responsible. And you're an A student, so we can get you out of here. Happy birthday to ya. All right, so he is oh, top-notch toddler, a slob, and erratic. Holy cannoli! He hit the jackpot, didn't he, you guys? Holy wow! Okay, okay. Let's um decide his life, and then decide Parker's life. Where's my pen or my phone? All right, decide Parker's life. One seven six zero or one seven zero six. Okay, so, oh, he entered the style influencer career? Wow, okay, what else you got here? Bank savings average, bad cook was his bonus trait. He's a style influencer, and he has an average skill learning thing. Great, cool. Time to move you out. I wonder, you can do it from the phone now? Okay, sure, whatever. What happens if you click this? Split from household and move. Let me see. Oh, we can just do this right here. That's amazing. Okay. Um, Select another household. Here we go. All right, you're moving in with your sisters and we're gonna give you your money. That's so nice that I can just do that straight from the phone. Oh, I love it. Okay, bye. <laughs> Bye bye Alrighty, Rue! Is uh, he still here or did he leave? Alright. Hello! Welcome back! Um, invite him in, please. Come on, Lily. Invite him in. Brighten his day. Alright, let's see if he takes some flirtage. Yup! He's romantic, so that doesn't really uh, surprise me that he's taking it. Lily! Oof! She's gonna age up. She's gonna freaking age up. Okay, we're trying again. Alright, everyone, all the hungry children, come and eat. Oh no, who died? Oh! <gasps> Who died? Was it her dad? Bryce? No. Wait, was it Bryce? No. Oh, it was. Aww. I'm sorry, love. Okay, come take a pregnancy test. Let's see if you're pregnant. Come on. Are you? Or is your time up? Now me. <laughs> I'm freaking dead. Holy crap. She was just about to age up. Oh my goodness. Okay, you can go to sleep now. You did good. You did good. Okay, so I'm a little bit confused. If the... Or the youngest daughter in the family is a vampire... Dude, is it the youngest daughter that's not a vampire that gets to be the matriarch? I'm a little bit confused about that. Bye, thanks for planting your seed. Appreciate it a lot. Okay, whose birthday is it today? Hazel and Lily, and then tomorrow it's the baby babies. So this baby gets to age up today. Dang, we were almost there. We just needed to get her thinking up, but it's okay. I'm gonna need you to come and cook a cake. I'm sorry, Lily. I know you're miserable, but come on. Here we go. Happy birthday, Hazel. You are a very slow learner, I have to say. Are you gonna age up? Oh, she had to throw a tantrum first. Great. 
What? Why didn't you age up? You blew out the candles. There you go. Okay. Hazel is creative. Okay. And then her aspiration. Rambunctious scamp. <laughs> you guys, I can't believe we managed to get her pregnant again. This is just wild. Who's your dad? Oh yeah, Santa. Oof. You are looking rough, my dear. Alright, I'm dressing her Christmas again. I don't care what anyone <laughs> says. <laughs> Alright guys, Miss Hazel Potter. This was our Christmas miracle. This is Santa's baby. Alright, Brooke is now an A student. Good girl. Are you responsible though? You are. Oh my gosh, we can age you up. That is bomb. All right. Come, my dear. Come make a wish. Come make a wish. You are so, so smelly. And I'm real sorry about that. <laughs> but happy birthday anyway. We love you. Woo! All right, Brooke. Heat acclimation. Sims with heat acclimation aren't affected as much by hot weather, but... Can still feel the effects. Great. All right. Let's decide your life. One thousand seven hundred and twenty-eight. One thousand seven hundred and twenty-eight. Okay. And what'd you get? Bank savings average. Uh, bonus trait: sweet holic. Guess you like sweets. Um. Career choice culinary, that's pretty cool. Uh, skill learning average. Cool. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna go here. 1,728. All right. They look exactly the same. That's crazy. All right, back in the house. So we have Hazel, Daisy, Dexter, Jonas, and Cassia at the moment. This little darling, you have no fun, but you are watching TV, so that should help. You, what's wrong with you? Wow, you need some fun. All right, time to go to sleep then. And then you, you really need sleep too. So come on, both of you in bed right now, right this moment. What are you doing to our baby over here? Can you go? These aren't even your kids. See ya. I'm gonna get Hazel a school project. School projects seriously come in so clutch. I love them. I used to hate them and now I love them. <laughs> uh, let's do the chemical reaction volcano for her. Start working carefully. Lily, why don't you come over here and dream big? Oh, your baby's crying though. Always, 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 always. Okay, guys, to end this episode, we are going to age up the babies. Um, because I know that you guys are dying to see what they look like. Come on, come age them up. It is time. All right, Jonas is a charmer. Very cute. Oh, look at the hair he got. Aww. Come on, just age up the other baby. Oh my god, you're being so annoying right now. Wild. Okay, great. That's just lovely. All right, let's check out the babies and create a sim, and then I need to end this episode. It's getting too crazy. <laughs> and I do have to go to class. All right, so Jonas, you're a vampire, and they're both vampires. Okay, great. Okay, we're giving Jonas that hair since his dad has braids. I kind of want him to have braids too. I think that's real cute. Um, what do you want to wear? Oh, that's adorable. I love that sweater. There's some little pants for you, and then you can have on some little white shoes. Ah, so cute. Oh, I wish this hair worked with hats. That's lame. All right, there's Jonas. Now let's have a look at Cassia. Ooh, she's so pretty. All right, there you go. She's freaking beautiful. Wait, did I give her skin detail? I don't think I did. Ooh, she needs one. Which one should we give her? I think I like this one the best, as usual. <laughs> 
I'm using up all my flower names on babies that aren't going to be matriarchs. Oh, it's so frustrating that I don't know who the next one's going to be. Because she can't be the next matriarch unless we uh, get that potion from the bar that makes her not a vampire. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think we should do. I Lily may or may not be pregnant with another girl. We don't know yet. <laughs> so, and the, the guy that she just got pregnant with is also a vampire. So there's a chance that the next baby could also be a vampire too. So you guys are going to have to let me know in the comments. If the babies that are supposed to be the matriarchs are vampires, what do we do? Do we like, do the baby that is the youngest baby that is not a vampire is she gonna be the next matriarch i don't know but it looks like we have all occult babies right now oh except for hazel but hazel counts because she is santa's baby so she's just magical on her own automatically <laughs> so yeah let me know what you guys think let me know what the rules are because honestly i don't know i'm gonna have to read them again it wasn't very clear in the rules on what to do if your youngest child is a ma is a vampire. So I don't know, let me know. And I'm so stoked we were able to get Lily pregnant again. Like that was cutting it super close, but I think this is probably gonna be the last one. But who knows, we'll see, I keep saying that and it always changes. All right, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.